Fife, the sophomore from Austin, Texas, getting ready to kick things off. He's had 21 kickoffs, four touchbacks. And this one is headed for the end zone, and Jarvis West watches it hit. And the Cyclones will open up the game from the 25-yard line. And good chance to uh, check out Steel Jantz, who's hitting 70% of his passes. Uh oh Dave. late flag, Mike. Let's we'll see what this late flag's about. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Iowa State, number 52, half the distance of the goal, first down. As Jantz uh, opens from the shotgun, and they're going to keep it on the ground, and hit immediately is Johnson by uh, Terrence Bullock. Jantz comes out firing, and this time he has Lentz, and he has nowhere to go. Stopped at the 10-yard line. Coming up strong that time is Cody Davis. Jantz. Plenty of time to throw the football, and he's going to be stopped just over the 10-yard line. And making the initial contact is Delvin Simmons. Uh, that's Madden 2013 stuff. Daggy wants to go upstairs right away. Comes up firing, and what a grab yep. if they, it hits the ground. Yep. Alex Torres, the young man who had three touchdowns in that big win over Oklahoma last year, almost had it, but a great effort. There's Whoa. the pressure. Ball is loose. Inside the 20-yard line, Cleon Lang, big number 90, got his big paw he forced on that it. arm. Yeah, he knocked it out. He knocked the thing out, and then they recovered it. But he had a great rush, and he's the one that forced the fumble. Lang, I call him Clubber Lang because he comes <laughs> off the football, and he knocks people backward. Watch number 90 on the twist. Tackle, tackle, twist. He scoops the ball right out of there, and then he, he can't fall on the football. Falling on the football for Texas Tech and making a very heads-up play. The Raven Clark, who's a red shirt freshman, but he was very heads up right there, at least securing the football for Texas Tech and avoiding tragedy. Yeah, it's a good time. Good thing Clark spotted that ball. Loss of 17. Third and 27. They're going to keep it on the ground. Stevens gets his first call. Up to the 25. And we're going to have our second punt of the ball game. Well, guys, when I talked to the Tech coaches before the game, the number one thing they wanted to tell their team before this started was to play loose and relax. Not only because they've looked forward to this game for the last two weeks, because they've been looking forward to this game for the last eight months since a disappointing finish to conference play last year. And I think so far what we've seen from Tech, they're a little revved up early. How they respond here will say a lot to their coaches. Yeah, Leslie, uh, David mentioned that. 41 points they gave up last year. 52 two years ago as Lenz comes up. Ernest Brun, the intended receiver, the tight end. Trey Porter in coverage that time for Texas Tech. James White in the backfield now. Second down, Twins. At the top of your screen and the bottom, Lentz comes up. Jantz fires. Ooh. And if it's complete, now he's going to be out of bounds. Three wideouts to the top of your screen. Some play action, and he's going down. Right. Big number 91, Kerry Hyder, the junior from Austin, Texas, drags him down. And that's going to be his second sack of the season. Daggy out of the shotgun. And they keep it on the ground, and Kenny Williams gets up over the 35-yard line, stopped by A.J. Klein. He picks up three. Dave Lapham, you look at balance. Uh, Stevens came into the ballgame with 34 carries, Kenny Williams with 34, and Foster with 31. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. That's balance within your balance. Out of the pistol this time. Daggy. Didn't fool too many people. Throws Whoa. it. It's picked off. No, it hit the ground. Jake Knott. Thought he had it. Mm. Jake not did not I mean very very close Daggy a design role pressures there just basically trying to throw it away Jake not it, the, the ball he's trapped at the ground helped him secure the football couldn't get his hands and arms underneath it fell on top of it good call by the official penalty flag thrown yeah penalty flag dropped at intentional grounding offense that's what I thought no nope. lost it down at the spot of the foul Th this third down no nope. Daggy fires, has his man up over the 40-yard line. Eric Ward. And Ward is inside Cyclone territory down near the 40. Finally run out by Darrell Gibbons. First down after the 32-yard gain. And Daggy goes upstairs. And a lot of incidental contact. The intended receiver, Javon Bell, the junior college transfer. Kenny Williams in the backfield along with Daggy. Daggy fires. This one's complete at the 38-yard line. 
Well, they get a holding Glenn Lee on the, on the edge. They've got Tyson Williams grabbing and taking the defender down the ground. That's going to cost Texas Tech on the perimeter. Second and 17. Ball back at the 47. Baggy, there's a bubble screen. Ward stumbles inside the 40 down to about the 37 yard line. Deion Broomfield makes the stop. Daggy. Jake Knott putting the pressure on, and Daggy fires, and this one is hitting the ground, but almost picked off again by the Cyclones. The intended receiver, the tight end, Jason Morrow. He'll be punting around the midfield strike. 8.29 to go in the first. High snap. End over end kick. Whoa. Hits inside the five, but the Red Raiders can't keep it in bounds. Goes into the end zone. Well, David Bowie would like it so far because there's been a lot of pressure <laughs> by the Cyclone defense on Seth Daggy. Big 12 No Huddle is brought to you by Whataburger. Proud to serve it hot and fresh 24 hours a day. So far, so good. Now the Cyclones with another Ooh. possession. James White up the middle. Ooh. It's a race, and White dragged down inside the 45-yard line. Eugene Nebo finally caught up to him along with D.J. Johnson. Inside eight minutes of the first quarter. White says he's not tired. Give it to me again. White stays in the backfield along with Steele Jantz. Jantz leaves his way inside the 30-yard line, stopped at the 27. Up three and all, he was known as the Man of Steel. After a triple overtime victory against Iowa, White has nowhere to go. Gets Lentz at the bottom of your screen. Ooh. No fooling anyone that time. Leon Mackey, the senior from Wilmington, Delaware. All over Steel Jantz. Texas Tech showing blitz on the near side. And they set up a little pass to White. Stop shy of the 30-yard line. Zach Winbush. Edwin Arceo, this is going to be a 49-yard kick. He's three for four. So far this year in 2012. It's a line drive from 49. Nope, and he missed it. Pushed it right. Back in Ames, scoreless game, Iowa State, Texas Tech. Let's check in with Leslie. Well, guys, Tech knew that the play of their offensive line was going to be key in this game. And when you take a look at their line, there's two things that stick out. First, their size. Their tackles are both 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and weigh 330 pounds. And their guards stick out. Both of those guys are redshirt freshmen. They knew that they were going to have a lot to handle, especially not just against the line, but Jake Knott and A.J. Klein. And early on, what we've seen, especially Jake Knott, is giving them everything they can handle. Their O-line coach says that they prepared well, but still, it's a a tough test out here tonight and, and Leslie they have a senior center and two senior tackles so they surround those redshirt freshmen with experience exactly Daggy. up to the 40 yard line just shy of the first down they pick up nine on the play Daggy. this is Ward again there's a first down inside Cyclone territory first and ten some razzle dazzle After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, number 47. He hit him out of bounds. 15-yard penalty, first down. So he was the one to chase him out, but a little bit uh, a little bit overly aggressive. aggressive cost. Watch Seth Dagey on the reverse, number seven. Oh, trying to make the cut. Didn't quite get him on the ground. Well mm -hmm. out of bounds. You have to know where you are. He lost his awareness of where he was in the football field. He didn't really crush him and he get his money's worth. He didn't blow him up. But when you contact him five yards out of bounds like that, the official's going to drop the, the yellow hanky on you. Yeah, you're right there. But it looked like Klein tried to hold up yep. in the last millisecond. Yep. Out of the pistol now is Daggy. Marquez, and he stumbles up close to the first down. I think he got the first down. Iowa State's their opponent six for six so far in the red zone. There's the oh. pitch, and there's a fumble. It's like he dribbled it. Boy, Eric Stevens, he dribbled it. Good thing he did dribble it right back into his chest as Jacquez uh, Washington was right there. Talk about a fortuitous bounce. Man, just slaps it in front of him. It's like he's in uh, a point guard trying to drive to the bucket. He dribbles the one dribble and uh, picks it up and, and gets what he can out of it. Just a very, very fortunate bounce. See the red zone numbers now. 20 opportunities, 14 touchdowns, four field goals. Second and eight. Ball up to 17 for Daggy. Three wideouts to the bottom of your screen. 
Daggy looks to the top, comes down over the middle. The short slant uh, coming in. That's uh, Eric Stevens, uh, the underneath pass. They Big third down play oh. for Tuck. This one's picked off. Klein. He already has three touchdowns <laughs> on picks. Is this going to be a pick six, number four? Yes, it is. Wow. Man. The fourth pick six, that's a school record, Dave. Absolutely. Great football geometry, great understanding. Reads Daigie's eyes. Daigie takes him right to the receiver. And man, just an unbelievable play by A.J. Klein. Now he turns into a running back. He must have run the ball a little bit in high school because, man, he's flying. And that's only uh, the second interception for Seth Daigie, but it is a critical one. The key now is will Seth Daigie be able to shake that off? Got plenty of size and speed to play at the next level. Kenny Williams gets the call. Cuts back Ooh. and he is depleted at about the 27, 28 yard line. David Irving, the sophomore from California, they picked up two on the play and he really leveled them. He did. I mean, you talk about, you know, this is a, this is a training reel tackle. Get your helmet across the bow, hit, lift, throw your hips in there. This guy's rangy. I'm telling you, boy, if he if he gets it together, he can be something special because he's got the physical attributes. Six seven, 280. Yeah, that's rangy. Daigie out of the gun. 60 seconds to go in the first quarter. Texas Tech trails by a touchdown. They're going to keep it on the ground. Nice spin up close to the first down. Shy though. Third and two. Stevens uh, gets the first down and then some. The end of the first quarter. So much for the fast start for the for the Red Raiders. Well, both defenses vastly improved, and we've got a seven nothing ball game. The big play, the linebacker, AJ Klein. How about that? Pick six. He's seeing golden goalposts right now. See you. Steps up, flush from the pocket, fires, oh. and this one's picked up. Wow. Jacques Washington has his second INT in 2012. Welcome back inside Jack Trice Stadium, Texas Tech, Iowa State on Fox College Sports. We check in with Leslie. Well, when we asked the coaches what sets not inclined apart from other linebackers, they said their communication. They just know what the other one is doing because they've played together so long. And it is fun to watch them interact over there on the sideline. Jake Knott, Pat and Klein on the back, hugging him after that touchdown. Well, Jake Knott was on someone else's back right there on that play. They've been roommates from day one since arriving here in Ames. Daggy comes out, fires, sets Ward, and he's inside Cyclone territory down to the 45 yard line. Jake not making the tackle. Well, Stevens lines up as a Wildcat. Stevens, a loss on the play. Daggy fires, has his man at the 40, and that's the big tight end, Jason Morrow. Daggy steps up. Flush from the pocket, fires, oh. and this one's picked up. Wow. Jacques Washington has his second INT in 2012. Doing a great job, route recognition and breaking on the football. That's exactly what was what was done on the on the uh, the pick six interception by AJ Klein. This time thrown back across his body late. And it's usually it's tragedy, and that time it was again. Washington pressure's good. Washington makes it pay off. It stands. It wasn't confirmed, but it, it does stand. So Iowa State, they come back, and uh, Chantrell Johnson, uh, the junior from uh, Galan, Florida, gets the uh, call. He's stopping five to twelve, but Iowa State leads it seven nothing on the defensive play. This one's completed at the forty-five yard line. Jarvis West, the redshirt sophomore from St. Pete's, Florida, pulls it in. 5 7. We've got a, a flag. This may come back to hold him. Ineligible downfield. Oh, Offense, number 74. Oh, yeah. Five yard penalty. Second down. It's a 44 yard penalty. 
Johnson again trying to weave his way up over the 30. He does up to about the 32 yard line. That'll bring up a third down. Uh oh. There's the pressure. Chance flushed from the pocket. Looking. And he just throws this one away. The free runner was Dartuan Bush. And I don't know how you can't block Dartuan Bush. I mean, they had a protection we'll breakdown there. Empty backfield. Turns, fires. Ooh. Wow. Bam. Not, not put a knot on his head. So Dale Foster now, the junior college transfer in the backfield, but Daggy wants to go back to work with his arm. And looking oh. for Ward, he had him at the 42 and he dropped the football. Got to make those catches. Daggy. Bell. Ooh, he is wrapped in that Ooh. part of the 21 yard line. He lost the ball. He lost the football. Didn't know he still got it. I thought he dropped it. Punting it around the 10. Oh, nice. nice kick. Horn back inside the 30. He's going to return it. Has a wall. Aaron Horn. At the midfield stripe, pushed out of bounds. Well, there's a flag at just just downfield from the line of scrimmage. I don't know. I don't know if there was holding that was going on by uh, uh, by Iowa State as the as Texas Tech released to cover the punt. There may have been an early hold up the field. Illegal formation. Not enough in the line of scrimmage. Kicking team, five men in the backfield. That five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. It'll be first down. Wow. Didn't Another 50 yard punt. Didn't have enough men up on the line of scrimmage and add it to the add it to the return. Defense, the name of the game here in Ames so far. Smush. Daggy looking underneath has his man inside the five. Ooh. Touchdown. Jakeem Grants. <laughs> Defensive touchdown. The lone touchdown of the ball games. We check in with Leslie. Well, when Troy Douglas was hired as a secondary coach for Iowa State, he established some rules. Number one, the ball is the issue. He runs his DBs through receiver drills in practice. He doesn't care if it comes in the form of an interception or pass breakups, whatever, as long as they get their ball back to the offense, and they have done that so far here tonight. Seven picks for Wally Burnham's defense. When Douglas was at USF, they led the nation in INTs. Then he went to North Carolina when Wally Burnham came here. He had 39 for the Tar Heels in two seasons. Jance comes up firing, and this one's going to be picked wow. off. Jeez, you talk about on different pages. His receiver hooked up. I mean, he, he, he's not even taking his route down the football field, and, uh, and Jance just throws it up where he expected his receiver to be. Cornelius Douglas, the former wide receiver, back in the lineup, and he gets the pick. I mean, he's trying to get the ball to Lentz. Lentz takes it to the sideline, and Jance is expecting him to take it up the field and out and up. And man, I, that's what I was talking about when we talked about him in the open. Avoid the big mistake and take advantage of the big play when it's there for you. That was a big mistake by Steele Jance. Both quarterbacks are struggling. He's now two of six passing for three yards with one interception. He's rushed five times for seven yards with Jance. Williams with a spin at the 30, still on his feet. Williams all the way over the 45, just shy of the 50. Dragged down by Jake Knott. Five yard line, best field position of the night before the interception. Williams trying to bounce outside, spins again, but this time hit some resistance after a three yard gain. Earlier today, if you missed it, uh, West Virginia beat Baylor 70 to 63. Whew. Both defenses taking the day off. Daggy over the middle. Good coverage. Knocked down that time by uh, Dion Broomfield. Daggy, here comes the pressure. Oh. He gets rid of it. It falls incomplete. Boy, once again, you talk about just plastic coverage. Nowhere for Daggy to go at the football. The coverage down the football field is extraordinary, and it's like the hand fit in the glove. The rush helps the coverage. The coverage helps the rush. Iowa State is playing serious football defensively. Even so far, 24 yards rushing for Texas Tech, 52 for Iowa State. And the Cyclones uh, keep it on the ground. That's James White to what the carry. He had three for 40 before that call. That's uh, look at that. I mean, both defenses are stepping up because the Red Raiders, number two in the country offensively, as well as one defensively. 
Will Smith uh, came in and hit uh, the quarterback hard that time, the middle linebacker. It's good to see some defense after uh -oh. that uh, dizzying game with West Virginia Baylor. Penalty flags. Is this a free play? Yep. Jantz going upstairs saying this one's going to be picked off. But again, penalty flags dropped. They got Bush jumping off the side of the neutral zone. Cody Davis uh, comes up with the uh, INT. That would have been his second. But uh, again, the penalty flags will bring this one back. Hard voice inflection. Offside defense, number 54. It's James White in the backfield along with the steel Jantz. Looks left. Jantz comes back to the left. And this one's almost picked off. The intended receiver was Aaron Horn. 51 and 50. He's averaging 50.3. Jeez. Zuzalik uh, back inside the 30. This time he has a little bit of running room. And he's got an opening. The senior from uh, Lubbock, Texas, uh, inside the 50. Oh, nice. A 46 yard punt, but a nice return by Austin Zuzalik. There's a little screen inside, and a nice pickup inside the 35 yard line. Jakeem Grant. The redshirt freshman from Mesquite, Texas, picks up 11 yards in the first down. Williams, nice cut back inside the 30-yard line. Williams in the backfield with Daggy. Turns, fires, Ooh. and the intended receiver is Darren Moore. Kenny Williams inside the 25, and he's going to move the chains. First down, uh, Texas Tech. They're on the move with 4.49 to go. Picks up six on the play. Daggy fires, and this one's a complete. Flag on the play. Javon Bell, but the flag dropped at about the 22. Ineligible wow. downfield offense, number 22. Shot themselves in the foot because now they face a first and 15. Inside four minutes to go. Daggy fires, has his man at the 22-yard line. Hmm. Williams stays in the backfield with Daggy. Turns, fires, and this one's complete inside the 10 yard line. The big tight oh. end dives for the end zone. He got it in. He got it in. Yeah, he stretched it out. He kept put it in his right hand and dove and got it inside the pylon in the, in the referee's opinion. They're wow. Gonna, they're going to look at this one, though, Mike. Did he step out of bounds before he jumped and uh, stretched that ball out? You know, he's 6'5, so his arms are probably <laughs> seven feet long. Let's see, Amaro. Keeps it in the right hand, and he steps out of bounds. That's coming back. He steps out of bounds. That's what I was wondering. His footwork. The ruling that, on the field was the touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Yeah, it's not going to be a touchdown for long because that right foot was out of bounds. Nice job with the right hand, but just do not keep the feet in bounds before he uh, lunged for the end zone. Watch his feet as he tight ropes the sideline. Right there, right foot well out of bounds. So the ball's going to be at about the two and a half yard line. Nice job getting it inside the pylon. He's such an athletic guy, but his right foot carried out of bounds because of the contact. Iowa State didn't give up on the play. Contact took him out of bounds. Yeah, it'll be spotted about the two and a half yard line. It'll be first and Golski though. The runner stepped out of bounds at the three yard line. Three yard line. First and goal at the three yard line on the left half. Daggy wants to throw. Pressure. Uh-oh. He's going down at the 14-yard line. Roosevelt Majit, the fifth-year senior from uh, Florida. J too legit to quit, and you can't take this sack. I'm telling you what. In the red zone, you cannot take a quarterback sack. You have to throw it away. That Daggy fool. Marquez stops. He's looking back at his quarterback, and he has nowhere to go it. Deggy oh. at the 10, and he is loving it. Jansen Watson. All right, here is defensive discipline that we're talking about. Iowa State, you know, Texas Tech, almost desperation, run a gadget play. And it's going to be a reverse throwback pass to the quarterback. Jet sweep, and then you know where to throw it. Buys a little time and space, completes it. Everybody from Iowa State is exactly where they're supposed to be doing what they're supposed to do. Wally Burnham should be proud of that defensive snap. Minute 44 to go. Third goal at the 11-yard line. Daggy looking underneath. Has his man inside the five. Ooh. Touchdown. Jakeem Grants. 
And Texas Tech is on the board. What you had was mismatch. Grant with Klein. You have a linebacker, Grant on a shallow cross in space. I mean, A.J. Klein can run 4-6, but Grant probably runs 4-4. So it's just a speed mismatch. Watch Grant come shallow cross all the way across the field. He's got a linebacker. That's a matchup in the offense's favor. He stutter steps a little bit and explodes inside the pylon. Second and goal, Jance. Fires, looking in the end zone. Three. Touchdown. <laughs> Bradley Marquez, guilty of that infraction. Jantz, Iowa State's 63 yards of total offense in the first half. This one's complete up to the 32 to Ernest Brunn, the tight end. He gave up 52 in the game. Nice call, nice run over the right side, inside or over the 45-yard line. Now the Cyclones going with two backs, White and Johnson. But oh. Steele's going down at the 35-yard line. I can't hide again. He's 6'2", 281, and... It was like no one touched them that time. If they can win 60% of the third downs, they have enough talent on offense. They should win the football game. Third down is going to be coming up right after this because Jantz has nowhere to go. Terrence Bullock drags him down at about the line of scrimmage. Jantz at the 30 from the shotgun. Well, Jantz takes off. He has to get. He got. He's got the first down. I stand corrected. Boy, all you have to do is lose contain, and Jance will make you pay. It is debut two weeks ago. Johnson gets the call. He's inside the 40-yard line. Looking at six. Wow. We'll keep it on the ground, and that's going to be another first down. They're moving the chains. So Cyclones on the move. Will Smith makes the stop. Johnson with the call. Picks up seven. Now getting closer and closer, Chantrell Johnson spins and cuts it back inside the 30 or the 25-yard line. Up tempo now. Here come the Cyclones very quickly. Jantz. Oh, nice open field tackle in space that time by Cody Davis. Uh -oh. Jantz gets rid of it. First down, Cyclones near the 15-yard line. Jarvis West. James White. Bounces off the would-be tackler, still on his feet, just shy of the 10-yard line. Will Smith, middle linebacker, drags him down. James White inside the 10, moving those legs down to the five. Actual application of the rule. Oh. Jance wasn't quite sure if he wanted to pull that out of the uh, running back's belly. They're down at the five-yard line, third down. 60 rushing yards in the first half, 52 in the third quarter now for the Cyclones. Jeff Woody, Woody at the five, muscles his way inside the five-yard line. Second and goal, Jantz. Fires, slipping in the end zone. Three. Touchdown! <laughs> Ernest Brun, that's number two in 2012 for the big tight end. Ernest Brunn is the best receiver at the tight end position, and you can see that. Ernest Brunn ran a good route. I mean, for as big as he is, he showed some dexterity and some footwork. 6'3", 247 pounder. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Remember, you have to have control, full possession, and one foot in bounds. It was his right foot down when the left foot right? With, okay, the right foot was down with possession. I still think it's a touchdown. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. And the Cyclones back in the driver's seat now. Their first offensive touchdown of the day. Ten rushing plays on the drive, and Jantz winds up with a five-yard touchdown pass, his seventh this year. Arceo on for the extra point. Pound him, pound him, pound him. Play action. Touchdown. Arceo. Ooh, it's close. He, he missed, missed it. it. Hey, he hooked it. That's exactly what Paul Rhodes was saying. He kicks it differently every mm -hmm. time. He's got to work on that. Kick the knuckleball. Jantz gets number seven. 74 yards, 15 plays. It's 13-7. Daggy goes up. 
That's a touchdown back of the end zone as Darren Moore pulls down his fourth this year. Thirteen seven now Daggy goes back to work and finds his man and this one's complete. And uh, they pick up eight or nine as Eric Ward fights his way up close to the first down Jeremy Reeves in coverage they pick up nine it'll be second and one. Second and short they're going to run for it. And they're going to pick up the first down they'll move the chains. Daggy, little pump fake, finally goes over the middle, incomplete. Uh, Torres, uh, incidentally, became the uh, eighth different receiver to catch a pass tonight. The five of 12, third down conversion so far tonight. 62 on the season. There's a first down inside the Cyclone territory. Sadale Foster, Foster stays in the game. A little bubble screen underneath, uh -oh. and there's some running room. Red Raiders. Uh -oh. Javon Bell dives for the pylon. I think he's going to be just shy. Looks like he went out of bounds at the two. Jeremy Reeves in pursuit. 47 yards on the play, and Texas Tech is knocking on the door. And keep in mind that missed extra point. Absolutely. And watch the block from Eric Ward, number 18 in the white jersey. Splits it. Watch Eric Ward right here. Right there. Eric Ward's in front, trying to spring his teammate the to the end zone. The rule on the field is that the runner was out of bounds at the two. Boy. He's closer to a touchdown than than Amaro's. I mean, I think that uh, I got to see that one again. I, they they got to take another look at that. Did he step out? He got a, he got the ball inside the pylon as well. They're not going to review it. Daggy, little pitch, Foster, wrapped up just inside the five. Uh, Jacques Washington, ball inside the five yard line. Daggy goes up. Oh, There's a nice. touchdown back of the end zone as Darren Moore pulls down his fourth this year. And what you have there is a size mismatch. You have Darren Moore at 6'4", uh, Broomfield at six feet. And he said, I'm going to give you a contested catch opportunity. I'm going airborne, climb the ladder, catch the ball at the high point. Daigie makes the play. And Moore rewards him. Ryan Buston, the sophomore from Kilgore, Texas, on for the PAT. And the lead. He's got it. Kilgore. James White in the backfield now with Steel Jans. Uh, 55 seconds to go before we move to the final 15 minutes. Jans looking for Horn. At the 30 yard line overshot him white and Johnson in the backfield as Iowa State goes back to the uh, two back set white smothered just shy of the 25 Jackson Richards the first to reach him the big tight end or the defensive end rather third and 12 this will be the final play of the third quarter now Jance out of the shotgun Wow fooled nobody heavy pursuit three Red Raiders and Jance throws it out of bounds with seven seconds to go he had to or it would have been a 20 yard sack. <laughs> you know, he'd get out of pocket, throw it away and uh, punt it down the football field. Paul Rhodes perplexed. How can my offense look so dynamic running the football down there, throw it, score a touchdown in the very next possession? We can't move it an inch, we go back. Play action, Daggy. Fires, bottom of your screen, touchdown, Texas Tech. That's Ward. Great route. Man, did he stink his hips and get in out of that cut. Woo. Back inside Jack Tri Stadium, Texas Tech, Iowa State on Fox College Sports. Let's see what do you have. Well, last year, Seth, really, when he made mistakes, they were compounded. So his coaches wanted him to get mentally tough in the offseason. They th thought he'd be able to handle adversity. So far, he's been able to do just that. Doing good tonight. High five in his teammates. But, guys, he hasn't played yet in the fourth quarter. Picks up five there, Leslie. Uh, two touchdowns, two picks for uh, Daggy so far tonight. And as uh, Dave talked about, Geno Smith, eight touchdown passes. Let me, let me ask you this Kansas State, West Virginia, both in the top 10. West Virginia scores 70, but they give up 63. Do they go down or up in the polls? <laughs> That's a great question. I guess it all depends on the taste of the voters. If you like offense, they go up. If you like defense, <laughs> they go down. Out of the pistol this time. Williams all the way up to the 40 yard line. 
Daggy steps up in the pocket. There's Amaro, the big tight end. He's all the way down to the 40-yard line. Uh, Jacques Washington drags him down. Another first down at the 41. Little inside pitch. And Bell is inside the 30, 25-yard line. Javon Bell, we just saw that long run. Just outside the red zone, Daggy fires. Marquez, the intended receiver. Daggy works out of the gun. There he goes to him. Little push. Did he pull that in? No. He dropped the football. Looks like he was going to make a great catch. Uh, Sam Richardson actually in coverage that time for Iowa State. Daggy. Flush from the pocket. Goes down the middle. Looking for Amaro. And it falls incomplete. Fourth down, Texas Tech. No, he pulled back. It. So it's, it's like one of my drives, Mike. A little, little too much right hand over Cooker. Let's see if they can continue this third down and move these chains. Jantz takes off from the get go and he gets up over the uh, 25 to about the 27. Uh, Sam McGuaven uh, makes the stop. Mike. Jantz, Johnson, nowhere to go. Spins up to maybe the 23. Jance, plenty of time. Oh. What a grab, and he dropped it. Pick. Unbelievable. Cornelius Douglas is still on his feet inside the 10-yard line. The former wide receiver missed the last game. And boy, he has been huge here tonight in that secondary. Grun got drilled. He's trying to catch the ball over a defender. Was it Nebo that smoked him? I'm not sure who it was that smoked him, but man. The ball goes airborne, picked off. Let's see, tight end down the middle, tries to go up. He's crushed and picked off, taking it back to the, uh, excuse me, taking it back to the house. Cornelius Douglas, who's a former wide receiver, he's got, obviously, he's got those ball skills. Man, that was just a tremendous defensive play to separate receiver from the ball when he was vulnerable. So it's first and goal for the Red Raiders, leading by one. Daggy. Penalty flag dropped and not makes the tackle just shy of the 10. And a hold on Texas Tech, right tackle. Holding offense, number 66, 10 yard penalty, first down. Amaro, the big tight end. Play action, Daggy fires, bottom of your screen, touchdown, Texas Tech. That's Ward, great route. Man, did he stink his hips and get in and out of that cut. Woo. So Eric Ward, the junior from Wichita Falls, Texas, finds the end zone once again. And you saw the disgust of Brun, who feels like he let his team down. But honestly, it wasn't a poor play by Brun. It was just an outstanding play by Texas Tech's defense. Art Kaufman, the aggressiveness. Great route. Boy, did he get separation when he, when he uh, planted that foot and sunk his hips and got in and out of that cut. Watson beat on the play. Just one play, 33 seconds, goes 19 yards. Buston, the sophomore from Kilgore, Texas, uh, drills it through the uprights. Well, Jantz remains in the game here with 10:36 uh, to go, trailing now 21 to 13. Offense has been tough to come by against this Texas Tech defense. Jantz, a load of the 25, picked up two, maybe three on the play. And uh, Iowa State can't get their ground game going. Jantz again trying to get it done to shy at the 30 yard line. Will Smith, the middle linebacker. I think uh, Smith might have a shot at Big 12 newcomer of the year. Right. Oh! <laughs> Got his money's worth when he jumped on that one. Leon Mackey trying to time that out. Jantz. Forward progress. Uh, well, he kept the legs going, but they should spot the ball at the first down marker for their first 4 0 start in 12 years. They trail in the ballgame 21 13. Jantz. Oh. Knocked out of bounds by Bush, and uh, it was hard to see if everybody was covered because uh, he had so many guys on top of him right from the get go. Tight loop in that side line. Second and six. This is White. He's going to pick up the first down, a new set of downs as he gets up over the 45 yard line. Will Smith making the stop. And a brand new set of downs. Chance looking, looking and finding his man underneath. It's James White. And he's going to be close to another first down for Iowa State. Blake Dees and Sam Aguavin. 
making the stop defensively. Jantz goes back to work. Goes upstairs looking for Horn. And the two junior college teammates at San Francisco City College uh, can't hook up. They have great chemistry, but not that time. Trey Porter defending for Texas Tech. Yeah, Jantz has to keep it on the field to play. That's the, the second ball down the sideline where he just hasn't given his receiver an opportunity to even make a play on Six of 15 passing right now, but 32 yards. He's averaging about 244 games so far. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. Jantz. Felt the pressure. I thought he had more time. He lost oh, the football. No. It's on the carpet. Texas Tech has it. Big number 91, Kerry Hyder, comes up with the football, and Jantz has to feel terrible for that one. Well, he's carrying it like a loaf of bread. He's carrying it in the right hand, fully extended. You have to tuck it away. And, uh, you know, scrambling quarterbacks can do this sometimes. No contact. He just lost control of the football. It's a humid night. Maybe some sweat on the hand. He did not squeeze the pig. It came out with basically a, an error by him, an unforced error, and he can't uh, recover the football. Hyder gets it done. I think if he stepped up in the pocket, he had a little bit more time. Right. A little inside the pitch again. Penalty flags will rule this one dead before it got rolling. Boy, three flags. Everybody threw them simultaneously. It was yellow handkerchiefs everywhere. Ball start. Offense, number 65. It's a big old split at left tackle. Williams. Wow, big hole. Gets down inside the 40. Had to get to the 39 for the first down, and he's got it. Deggy. Amaro. Amaro still on his feet. Knocked down, knocked backwards. Foul. Offense number 14. 15 yard penalty. Still first down. Williams. Marquez. Marquez wow. finds a lane. Marquez all the way down inside the 30 yard line. There he goes. Stevens was having that big year last year High for him. But they're going to eat clock as uh, Williams gets inside the 25 all the way down to about the uh, 22 or 21 yard line. Eighth play of the drive coming up now for Texas Tech. Austin Zuzalik now on the field for the Red Raiders. Big second half here for uh, Daggy as well as Kenny Williams. So Daggy with 332 yards passing. Timeout. Iowa State. Four wideouts for Daggy. Safety valve is Williams and he dropped it at the 23. Hmm. Got that one. Good from 39, 24 to 13 with 2.20 to go. Texas Tech in the lead. They can run it and they can play defense. Texas on top, 21 to 20, I'm told. Jantz comes out firing. A Lynch, Josh Lynch, nice job, pulls it in at the 44-yard line. Cradled it for the first down. Wow. Man, it's going down, he's going down hard as Pete Robertson busted through, the redshirt freshman from Longview, Texas. Where so, did he come from? You know what, Mike, when, it, when it's Iowa simple. State takes his third and final timeout, 30 seconds in the Slung him to the ground, bulldogged that quarterback, Mr. Robertson. Second and 21 after the sack. There's a little screen to James White. White cuts it back in. And White back to the original line of scrimmage. They have to get down to the 46-yard line for the first down. Brandon Jackson makes the stop. They pick up 12. Every play, you see seven or eight black helmets run to the football. When you run to the football like that, good things happen. Jantz, White again, Ooh. and he is hit. And hit hard at the midfield strike by Sam Aguavin. Another completed, another first down, just shy of the 40-yard line. That's uh, Aaron Horn. Eugene Nebo makes the tackle, but a minute 16 to go. First down stops the clock. Clock is running again. They don't convert on third down, but they do on fourth. Wow. Good bullet. Pressure again. Jantz has to go up. He's throwing deep into the end zone. Has a man. 
but it's going to be picked off. Cody Davis has his second INT. Just playing center field. You know, he doesn't have any real big responsibility, but Bullet actually does a hurdle over a potential blocker. I mean, it, it's just, it's an incredible effort. Bullet hurdles the, the, the chop block, and, and Jens just, he just throws it airborne, and the easy interception, easy pick. Receiver can't react fast enough to reverse rolls and play defensive back, you know, and uh, as a result of that, Chris Young can't make a play on it, but Bullet, man, he was, he was faster than a speeding bullet. He's got a zest and S on his chest. He's Superman. Well, those Texas Tech defenses, you talked about the Kool-Aid. 127 yards of offense for New Mexico two weeks ago before the bye, and they allowed just three points in the second half this year coming in. That's going to be the final play as the final 10 seconds rolls off, and Seth Daggy in Texas Tech, they go to 4-0, and oh, head homing with Oklahoma on deck, and Paul Rhodes and the Cyclones drop to 3-1. and one. A second straight year, they open 3-0. and oh. They have the bye. Last year, they were ripped by Texas. They weren't ripped tonight, but yep. they go down 24-13. Held into 189 yards of total offense. How did your defense match up to your expectations for them in this game? Well, we, we knew we were, we were pretty good on defense. I was a little bit worried about a, playing a balanced offense. They could run and throw. Our pass rush was good tonight. We gave up a couple of plays in the first drive of the third quarter. Uh, I think we overran it a little bit, but I tell you, I was proud of them because we fought from kind of kind of like we fought from behind the whole night, and uh, we had made some bad plays on special teams. But offense did the job when they needed to. But this was a defensive night. It's been a long time since Tech won a game on defense. So what was bigger, how your defense played, or how your offense battled? Well, a little bit of both. You know, when you go on the road in this conference or any conference especially early in the season both teams undefeated this was hard for us uh, you know we, I had half my guys has never been in a stadium like this on the road I didn't know how they'd react we had a couple of freshmen that kind of tanked it on us in the first half but they played good the second half so great learning experience so you welcome in Oklahoma next week is that what you're saying I don't know whether we're going to welcome them or not but uh, you know we you know they, we'll, we'll take this one for four or five hours and we'll go to work you know we, we know the the job we got in front of us, Oklahoma and West Virginia back to back. That's pretty tough. All right, coach. Congratulations Thank though you. on this one. Thank you. All right. Now we have Cornelius Douglas. Obviously a big night for you. What were you seeing from their offense on those two picks? Um I really just guard my man, really. It just it just happened like that. Um, you know, we had good uh, good pressure from the D line, good pressure from the linebackers. We were playing pretty tight with the secondary. And you know, it just the first one just happened to fall in my hands. And, you know, I was surprised too. Like I was, oh, you know, God gave me a gift today, you know. And then the second one, uh, DJ Johnson made a great play and came downhill, and the ball just popped up, and it was, it was December, December, uh, December 30th again. You know, got my present. You know, popped up right there. So. Well, your defensive coordinator, Art Kaufman, told me before the game that the biggest thing this week was getting you back. How big was it for you to get to contribute like that? I was real big. You know, I had to, I had to sit out sit out last week um, due, to, due to injury, you know. And it was the same injury that happened that last year versus the same team. So I really wanted to play them. You know, I really didn't get to show my talent last year against them. But I feel like I got to show them tonight. And it doesn't get any easier. You guys have Oklahoma next week. Well, it's, it's just another game. We take the games uh, week by week, you know. We're going to plan, practice, uh, study up the film, and then uh, come out to play Saturday evening. All right, well, congratulations on a great game. All right, Cordelia.